Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D logo moving in the timeline like when you hit the play button it's going to be moved around or something so for example if I have a concrete 3D object 3D logo so you can see that this 3D logo is already sticked together just one object only so you need um, the inside two part of the logo the inside and the circle around outside you're gonna have to split them separate them to, into two objects and um, so you right click and convert to and convert to editable poly and you can see that we no longer have the bevel command over there so now you're gonna choose element and then we click inside part like I'll call this part 1 of the logo so we can separate the logo into two parts so we scroll down and we're gonna find the uh, detach yeah this one you're gonna separate the object into two by this command and you have to rename the new object that you create which is the in inner part of the logo and as it, you can see that we have another layer, another object. I'm sorry, another object in this file. Yeah, and now uh, I'm moving it out so you can see that it, it is separated from the original file, original uh, object. And then you notice that the timeline below. And this timeline will be divided in, into uh, from 0 to 100. Mm, <laughs> I'm sorry for my writing because I'm writing on my mouse, my cursors. Uh, we called it keyframe, but in, in 3D Max they call it keyframe, but I usually call it the uh, timeline etc it's up to you and now you click to the time duration you can extend the timeline but just right now we just put it 100 on it and now we're gonna make the inside part which is the top part one object one to be moved first and you can see that we're gonna choose auto K over the RT button below and then you can see that the timeline now turn into red and from the start point is zero it is 20, 25 frame and then we turn back to, and then the, the time key will be at 25 on a hundred and you can see that by that time I'm gonna move the position of that object I'm gonna rotate it another angle and then if I go to 50 I'm gonna move rotate it to another angle like it is 180 degree from the original position and then for 75 I'm gonna have another angle um, it should be uh, maybe uh, 90 degree or something I'm just making a sample for you um, then at the end of our timeline I'm gonna make it a full circle all right and now I already set it up on the 
position and down here you can see that we have the um, buttons which is gonna control our animation now we click play you can see that it's gonna automatically play the timeline over and over again and our object will be moved into another position by the time that you set this is very similar to in uh, Premiere, Premiere Pro, uh, which is a um, video editing software that we can adjust or set the animation for some video to appear and display over the time. And just very similar to the object one, we, we're gonna have to apply the steps into the second object which is the outside circle and then just do it just apply and repeat the steps then you can uh, click auto key or you can, we can set the key by ourselves depend on your project all right and now i'm still Rotate it um, Last time I did the um, Like vertical rotation and now I'm gonna use the um, horizontal axis to make it Rotate it All right so just, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit messy now, but just, I want it to be all the objects, two objects to be um, moved into different direction, but still, they seem to be stick together. Yeah. And the last one, full circle. Alright, 360 degree. And now, yay! You can see that we have a logo moving. This is very basic uh, movement, very basic animation. And now you can see that we already have the moving option. And now how can we make the video? We're gonna use render. Hit the render button. But actually, you can see that when you hit render, it's just the image. But we need to render it into a video. So go to render, render setup and uh, right here you're gonna see that it's you see that it's here is the just a single image now we're gonna have to yes we're gonna have to choose the uh, active time segment and then you have to render from 0 to 100 it's, it's the number on the timeline because you want to have the video from that period to another period oh no, no sorry I just make a full period of movement you don't have to choose the active time segment that is displayed on the timeline currently and now you can see that this is one of the um, screen side of the, our video but you can see that uh, it's already have the output side 
for our video. This uh, NTSC and PAL is a very popular format that we're gonna export the video to. And um, actually, um, we um, should base on this because um, it's gonna fit into many other type of editing videos or regular video frame. And, uh, and now we have the uh, screen side and now uh, notice this render output over here you can see that um, we're gonna choose the um, output folder that the, uh, our new video will be put into that just choose <laughs> okay it's just maybe that's it and we choose the file format for our video and the AVI is a um, very high resolution video format or MOV because um, MOVI I regularly use the um, I usually use the MOV format for my Mac but when I'm yeah I'm using duo Okay, just put it over there. So hit render. Yeah, and then just imagine that it is now rendering like a hundreds of pictures, a hundreds of image, and then merge them all into a video. Like you can see that in a video we have um twenty four pictures per second that's it and if you want a 10 second video you can have 240 image that's it and now we're gonna go back and now you see that we have the final product here yay that's the new fo video file that we have. So you get it? Alright, thank you. See you in the next video.